Hi, my name is Katie Cruz Smith, and I wrote this book called Why Did You Choose Me on Adoption. Um, it's about a way for adoptive families to answer some questions that their kids might have about the unique way they, they came into their home. My husband and I started talking about adoption about the time we started talking about marriage. We have always known that adoption was God's plan for us and we just never thought about anything else. Hannah is a spunky nine-year-old girl who just loves gymnastics, she loves art, she loves being creative, and she just wants to one day be a traveling missionary nurse and help orphans around the world. Ephraim is six years old and he loves everything to do with sports, baseball, karate. He is just always climbing things like a monkey and just very energetic. And Harmony is our adorable three-year-old who is just a light in our lives. She is um, so much fun and she is very talkative and never meets a stranger. And they are all half siblings and uh, we have a great relationship with their birth mom and we love her very much. Hannah started asking serious questions when she was about four or five, but we've always um, kept the lines open with them and shared with them the story of how they came into our family because there's nothing to be ashamed of. They have a unique story and we want them to know that they were loved by a lot of people. Ephraim has always kind of just listened to our answers that Hannah's asked, but he's had some of his own and we've answered those. And Harmony just wants to know why she didn't grow in mommy's tummy. And we'll just answer them as they come along. On our third adoption, I started thinking that um, maybe we were jumping in with our hearts instead of our heads, especially since a lot of people were questioning the wisdom of adopting again. And so I told my husband I wanted to do this one debt free, especially since we were still paying off Ephraim's adoption. And that was the only way that I could be sure that God was in this. So I started researching a lot of adoption grants and I found one where the, they were having an essay contest and the question that they posed that year was if your child came to you one day and said, why did you choose me, what would you say? And so the uh, question started taking root in my mind that this was probably a question a lot of adopted kids were going to be asking. And I won the grant and that's where the story got started. My children love the book, Why Did You Choose Me? They know that they inspired it and they see themselves in the pages and it just makes them feel even more loved and special to our family. I hope Why Did You Choose Me? will open the door for a conversation with families who are struggling with their adoptive children knowing their own place and their family. Each adopted child is unique and special and they need to know that. And I believe every child is gonna have this question at some point and these parents can answer this question in a loving way. I am currently working on a devotional book to accompany Why Did You Choose Me? that will unite adoptive families through God's word. I also wanna thank my illustrator, Sarah Strickling Jones. She is the one who saw a book in my words and took my words and, and said that she would illustrate them for me and she has been an encouragement and a really good friend to me and I have appreciated everything she has done for me. This page was based on a question that Ephraim asked me because Ephraim hates to clean his room. Or maybe you could love someone who likes to make their bed. Ephraim, do you hate to make your bed? <laughs> and this one was based on harmony. Let's see if you can guess why. Perhaps you could have loved someone who sings in harmony. Harmony loves to sing. She doesn't sing in harmony. She does. And this is based on Hannah. Perhaps you could love someone who is good at gymnastics. Hannah is working at being good at gymnastics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could do a flip of the air. I answer them every time. Oh, darling, darling child, you're part of this family. I don't care what you look like, and you're so much fun to me. Because even though my kids are crazy, they are very fun. And I answer Ephraim, I'd love for you to make the, your bed, but I'm glad the mess belongs to you. And I tell Harmony, maybe you can't sing in harmony, but all I hear is sweet and true. I tell Hannah, I don't need a child who wants to impress by putting on a show and will work out your bad habits as I lovingly help you grow. For more information to buy this book, go to Amazon, Quick Simple, Barnes and Noble.